what's happening, what it do. It's that time of the weekend. Gotta come to you with my power news and talk, discussion, review, all of the above. But to summarize this episode in one word, interesting. So there was a special guest on Power Tonight. Kendrick Lamar. Should I start off talking about Kendrick Lamar? I don't know, but since I already brought it up, he steals the show. Kendrick, we've seen him in his music videos and stuff. As far as I can think of, I, I don't know of him, of him in any uh, movie roles or acting roles so far. This might be his busting his cherry, his acting cherry tonight, pause. But, uh, he did a phenomenal job. He played a crackhead. Like, I'm, I'm waiting to see. I, everybody was, was talking about, oh, Kendrick Lamar gonna be on uh, Power tonight, pink Kendrick Lamar. So I'm like, wonder what kind of, what role he's gonna be. I'm thinking he's gonna be one of Canaan's out of town people or something, and something gonna happen. I figured Kane would probably turn against him and kill him or something. You know that's what Kanan usually does. Because I'm pretty sure Kendrick wasn't going to be in multiple episodes. So Kanan comes out the store. He goes around the corner. And then Kendrick Lamar has all unbraided to one side. He's looking crazy. His teeth all yelling and shit. Hey, papi! So he plays a black Spanish crackhead. It is hilarious. He does his thing. Kanan uses him. He like, you know some Tainos or whatever. So he, he uses Kendrick. Not not to give away the whole episode or whatever. He, he But he uses Kendrick as like a bait. He goes high like, hey, ho, papi, papi, you good? And so Kendrick be talking to all of these Spanish people. And he goes and kind at him and Kanan just comes out of nowhere. Bow. He just knocking them off. So there, the backstory with that is there in Dre's organization. So he's taking it upon himself to weaken Dre's organization. The uh the Hyen, what I don't know their names, but the ones that Dre is underneath, they have some fracture in their stuff. They got picked up last episode, even though they got let out, but the the power that Dre is, is protected by is not as strong right now. So Kanan just took it upon himself. I'm gonna go knock a few of them off and just cause some, some ruckus in their organization because Dre's number two man thinks it's somebody in their organization that's knocking them off to try to get in his position. So that's putting some strife in their stuff. Speaking of strife in, in the stuff, uh, Angela, she hollers at Proctor. She gets Proctor to holler at Tommy. And so she's trying to use that pool. I think it's a little bit of... She wants to see... I think in the back of her mind, she was like, let me let me test the waters and see if Ghost is still working with Tommy. And so Tommy like, I don't even I don't even work with Ghost no more. So uh, you could take that shit. If you had anything on me, you would, you would lock me up right now. So she found out that Ghost is no longer in, in business with, with Tommy. But she's trying to make him a mole or whatever. I don't know why she thought he was the connect. I don't know if she really thought he was the connect or not. Or if she was just using that for some kind of leverage. But, and it could be, she she did take that tracker. I think she, she's trying to cover her tail herself. That That's, that's some, some interesting stuff with that tracker. But Tommy, later on in the episode, he gets the tracker back. And he's like, his his father, let me go back around. His father opens up. I don't even know if that's his father. I, I, I don't know. But he's on some shit trying to get information for them. Uh, to snitch on Tommy or Ghost or whatever. He has to make a choice in the in the bar whether he should kill he should kill Tommy or his, his best friend. Like I, I'm all over the place. Basically, he, he points a gun at his friend. He doesn't kill Tommy. He doesn't kill his friend either. The, the gun was was blank. So I don't know if he he says that he felt the weight of the gun, and that's why I, I knew I knew the gun wasn't wasn't loaded. That's why I pointed the gun. As uh, I don't know, cause I really don't think he has any loyalty to Tommy. And 
But but anyways, what I was the point I was trying to make was he sits down and eats with Tommy, and he's like, I was loyal to an idea. But 25 years in, they didn't do nothing for me. People that wouldn't have pissed on me when I was on fire, they didn't do nothing for me, but I did 25 years for them. And he's thinking like, would I have did it again? I, Cause is it snitching? Like he, he kind of breaks it down the time. Man. Is it, is it snitching when you, you're not really loyal to them people or whatever is he's like, it's like if, if it's not the family or somebody directly with you, it's kind of like a business decision. He kind of breaks it down some kind of stupid shit like that. But uh, Tommy takes that to heart, and he doesn't snitch. He like I'll never, I'll never be that. I'll never be. A, I ain't no snitch. But he goes highly at Angela, and he like, give me that tracker. So he gonna use that to finagle some kind of way and give him a trail to the Jimenez, to the Jimenez. So that's a possibility. And I ain't talked about my favorite character yet. Ghost. So Ghost got a lot going on this episode, man. Ghost, he's back. He looked like he was he was coming along at the beginning of the episode. Uh he, he gets the old man and they, they're trying to get Dre up out of the situation. But it's a little harder than they expect. So they can't get Dre out. Then he like Every time I tried to corner you, you got out of it. He didn't say those exact words, but he like, you always found a way, Ghost. Just find your way. And so Ghost like, yeah. So he he used to be the employer of Dre. So in them clubs and stuff, there, there's like non-compete forms and stuff. Like you can't go work for a competitor and bring their business up with the knowledge and stuff that, that I've... I've gave you, I've given you and stuff. So he had signed it. And Ghost remembered. He like got him fired. So he's like, and hey, you gonna stay away from my fucking club and stuff. So it looked like Ghost had finally had the upper hand. Congressman Tate, Senator Tate, whatever he is, he comes in 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 the situation. He's like, no, you're not getting rid of Dre. I'm going to introduce him to some more people and stuff. And him and Ghost finally, like, Ghost is finally getting getting to his boiling point with them. I was happy for my own personal, my own niggerisms. Just, I want, I want to see him fuck the Red Tate up so, so bad. I hate his character on the show. I want to see Ghost bust his ass. But... Ghost did get at him, and I was happy for that. But then it was messed up because Ghost messed him himself up. So he choking him in the, in the thing. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. What I'm capable of. Like bitch, I'll kill you. And it was kind of funny when Lorenz Tate got up, cause Lorenz Tate, uh, an old to minister society. You know you're fucked up, right? You know you're fucked up. So <laughs> he, he he steals that line from Minister Society. But uh he was in Minister Society. He was old dog. That's that's funny. I guess maybe they threw that in as a little gem for you to catch. But uh That didn't work out. That didn't work out. Uh Tasha. I'm not liking I'm not liking Tasha character. Uh, she she going she doing her stuff with the lawyer bay, lawyer bay does kind of come in handy. Why she she doesn't live to ghost anymore, but they had the party at ghost house. She invites her side nigga to the house to deliver the cake and stuff. Didn't the cake wind up being the wrong cake and it said happy birthday Raina? And so it's it's a bunch of mess with that. Uh, Tariq came for his birthday party and stuff. Oh, uh, speaking of Tariq, Tommy figured out that Dre was, that Tariq, the one that warned Dre. I was happy about that information, that he figured that out. So, kind of hold him accountable for that. That's just a little tidbit. But back to, back to the other story. So, uh, Tariq came for his birthday and this and that. Uh, 
And I felt bad for him at one little part. Whenever he was like, you wish, uh, you wish I died instead of rain or huh? Like, that, that was kind of a sad thing. Even though I can't stand Tariq. But that was a sad moment, whatever, for him to have those kind of emotions and stuff. Even though he's the most hated brother on television right now. Uh, I'm trying to think, what am, what am I missing? Some big, big parts of the episode. Uh, 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 uh. I, I'm at a loss. Oh, my last thing I want to talk about. When Ghost finally came home. Ghost finally came home and he was he was drunk out of his ass after the party. And he talks to, to Tariq. He like, I got you something for your birthday, son. Look, yeah, he's take I don't I don't I'll pass. Man, I took them joints. She wish my daddy brought me some joints. But uh so man he goes and they have their little moment. Like, it's your fault that Raina died and this and that and Raina she loved you only because of the things you was buying and he was Tariq was saying all kind of dumb ass shit. And Ghost got mad, Ghost attacked him, Ghost fell on his face. Like Ghost couldn't he couldn't snatch up Tariq. And then when he finally got up again and he uh, attacked him, uh Tasha put him out of his own house. She don't even live there anymore. She put him out. You gotta go. One positive of it of it. Was he did wind up going to the church. And he talks to, to the pastor. And he does end up having like a revelation. I want to be a better man. I hope that he stops his drinking and stuff. And that might be. Get him on a path. Just get him on a clear clear vision. For him to start really attaining his goals. Like he been falling off lately. Like he hasn't been using his. Ghost usually is like. Three steps ahead of the game. And like he is just. Behind the eight ball right now. So I don't like that. But at the end. He says I want to be a better man. And I hope that he is. And he winds up going to Angela's apartment. So they end another episode off. With him going to Angela. So. It's a, it's a lot. Open open for interpretation. To see what's going to happen. How the season is going to progress. I really want to see what time is going to do. Like with their tracker and stuff. Uh, Ghosts. I want to see what what being a better man is going to be. Like, is is he gonna focus more on his business? Is he gonna try to stay away from like Tommy and stuff? Get stay away from that life. Period. I'm curious what's gonna happen. It was a good episode to me. Kendra Lamar stole it. Kendra Lamar character was hilarious. But what are your thoughts on the episode, man? Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated. I know my rants be be long and stuff. But hi, let me. Peace out. Hey, puppy.